you're living in a time where a lot of business owners are buying into the whole idea of collaboration over competition, right? Very advantageous for those who are brand new, right? And access to different information today, right? Access to big gurus, big name people are becoming more accessible than ever before. And I can prove that. So let's take a look at the board. On the left hand side here, I listed out the most popular financial roles an individual can play as a content creator, right? So starting at the top, we got financial coaching. Arguably, one of the most beneficial positions a content creator could be in, you've got the most freedom, in my opinion, as a financial coach in terms of what you can say, right? You really can just speak freely, speak your mind, uh, not be tied down to one philosophy or one concept, not be tied down to really any any topic. As a financial coach, you're positioning yourself as someone that is problem solving, looking at the numbers, identifying the traumas, the behaviors, the habits of that particular individual that you're working with. And there's the least amount of liability, I would say, where you can just speak from your own personal experience. And therefore, this is how you operate your finances. This is why you don't use debt, or this is why you do use debt. This is why you use life insurance. This is why you use crypto to invest or real estate. So you've got all the freedom in the world to just really speak your mind. You don't have to be held to a higher standard as if you were licensed, right? As a financial planner, let's say a, a financial advisor, right? You've got to submit any type of marketing, video, interviews, any type of material you do has to get submitted through a system, through a process, and that is a major delay when you're trying to create content, right? So as we get further down the list, you'll see some of the pros and cons of the different roles that you can play or you're thinking about. Again, this video is most advantageous for those who want to be on the side of serving, right? Not just to be served, but you also want to serve. You've learned a philosophy, you've learned a concept, you've learned a financial strategy, you've mastered it, you've gotten results, you've created financial independence, financial freedom, and now you want to be a contributor. Now you want to be a philanthropist. Now you want to coach others, do the same, have crazy amounts of results and experience the same freedoms that you get to experience. And then by using your own story in terms of, you know, I came from nothing or I grew up without, you know, parents or, you know, parents divorced when I was six, you know, you then tie that story into what you do. It's going to it's going to strike chords in the audience that you're looking to serve that relate to your story, your pains, your traumas, your obstacles. And the customer today is looking more for that rather than experience and titles right? And accolades and trophies, right? The customer today is looking at you, figuring out how authentic is this person? How relatable can this person be to my situation, right? The customer today is asking, how can this person work with me? Are they going to pay attention to me? Are they interested in making money over serving my needs, my wants, my desires, right? The customer is not looking up to see if you are a certified financial coach, if you've got 10 years or more experience. No, no, no. Corporations, institutions, right? Nonprofits, organizations are looking up those different things to hire you as a speaker or to bring you in to teach their employees, their staff. Totally different. So I don't want to disregard those accolades and trophies and titles and speaking engagements. You, you still need all of that. But in terms of accessing the customer today, they are on social media. They are watching all kinds of content and you can be the next person that they start binge watching very quickly, especially if they just click with you, the way you look, the way you dress, the way you talk, how fast or slow or moderate you talk or you know your, your background, oh, they're Spanish, I'm Spanish, or they're black, I'm black, or they're white, I'm white, whatever it is. Like People are looking at who can they relate to, who can they build a real relationship with, and can that person really help me, right? And then through your content, you then show how knowledgeable you are on the topic that they researched, how to pay off debt, how to build credit, how to build business credit, how to invest in crypto. You start focusing your specialty 
right? You're a coach or consultant, right? That's general, but then you specialize in working with single moms or you specialize in working with single dads or you specialize with working with young folks between 20 and 25 years old or 20 to 30 years old or millennials or Gen Z or baby boomers because you're may- maybe you're a baby boomer, right? So you get to really, really niche it down. And I'm telling you the the opportunity is there. It's crazy, guys. It's It's insane. And I'm looking for people to run with me right in this space i'm looking to collaborate i'm looking to grow i'm looking to leverage my platform i've been able to build something pretty powerful in the last four years that it's bigger than me it's bigger than me it's bigger than my clients and so i'm looking to just bring on more people that want to serve and give you a place right give you an opportunity where either we can serve together uh, collaborate together and just have dominion dominate the marketplace it's amazing stuff here so f- that's financial coaching financial consultant very similar to a coach we don't necessarily deal with the mindset portion of a client or you're not really too deep on dealing with the financial traumas or addressing financial traumas with the client right and again I'm 26 years old, guys, so this is my understanding and definition. I could be totally wrong about these different roles. What I have seen in the marketplace is a combination, right, of different roles, right? I'm, I'm seeing like a combination of all these things and, it, and it's customized. And that is a major opportunity, which is the customized approach, which is going to be the second area that we cover here. So financial consultant, you're like really just looking at the numbers, providing a strategy, providing a plan, and then it's up to them to go and take off unless they have continued uh, sessions with you. That's where maybe coaching might play into it where a person's like, hey, man, you know, I make good money, but I just can't seem to keep it. Well, giving them a financial strategy isn't going to solve that problem. You kind of have to have deeper conversations. So if you're someone that doesn't feel comfortable having deeper conversations, you might be like me in the beginning where you just provide the numbers, 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 numbers. If you if you look at my YouTube channel, very rarely am I talking about your trauma when you were six, when you were 10 years old, mom did this, dad did that with money. And so therefore you now do this or you have a spending habit because nobody taught you. Like that's not how I initially address my services when I work with people, I'm showing people the numbers and I allow the numbers to do the talking to motivate them. Now the ball's in their court. So I'm not over here giving them a motivational speech as to why it's so important for them to stop spending more than they make. Some people take that approach as a financial coach. God bless you. Doesn't work for me. I receive the numbers of the individual because it's not that hard to get. All I need is bank statements right? Paycheck stubs. Those don't lie. Your bank statements do not lie. I can look at the last 30 days, last 90 days up to a year, and I can see where every single one of your dollars went. And I can prove to you, hey, you're spending in these areas. Da, 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 da. If you focus on one, two, three, four, five, six, boom, 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 you're going to recover $500 a month in cash flow. There isn't no debate after that, right? They're not, oh, that's not, that can't be done. Or, oh, I don't see that. I'm like, it's your bank statements. There's there's no lying here. So puts the ball back in their court, right? After that consultation, after that one hour session, they get to decide, do they want to work with Denzel further? Man, he just showed me how to go from from A to Z, from in debt to debt free, from in debt to debt free, debt leverage to investing to 10xing my income. He just laid it all out, gave me the timeline and everything. That might be the the step that they need to take and, and what they see. So as a financial consultant, that's where I dwell best. And then it's also intertwined with a financial strategist. So I, for, my, for myself, these are the two areas that I started with. And then over time, I started breaching into financial coaching, right? Because what I began to notice down the line, once I had a client for over a year or two years, or yeah, say six six to nine months, they started opening up more. Denzel, I love your mission, helping single moms. I was raised by a single mom. And da, 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 da. And so now I'm gathering more data about this person. And now I feel more comfortable. They feel more comfortable. We can start addressing different traumas. Hey, did you do this when you were little? Did this happen? Did your mom do this when you were this age? Right? How has that molded you? When you spend money on this, how does it make you feel? Like now we get to have deeper conversations because the the numbers have been laid out. 
So now they just got to follow it. Then when you add mindset on top of that personal development, hey, read this book. Hey, you should check this person out. Hey, we should go to this event together, right? Now you're just packing on the, the layering of that foundation and making it even more secure. So it doesn't hurt to intertwine, right? And, and add different things along the way as a financial influencer, okay? These three right here, financial planner, advisor, fiduciary, these things have licenses involved. You're actually selling an end product. So you're charging for your time in certain scenarios as a fiduciary, just charging for your time. As a finance, financial advisor or planner, maybe you have got some type of a back end product, right? That the person buys into and then you get a commission or residual, right? Stream of income from that specific product, right? Now, in these areas right here, these guys can't really create as much content, right? Can't really create as much content. And on top of that, most people aren't ready to talk to these kinds of people because they don't have the capital, discipline, finances to be investing. They simply need a strategy to fix their mindset, improve their mindset, improve their personal finances, pay off debt, right? That's not really the job of a financial advisor to show you how to pay off debt. Although, we're seeing or i've been noticing a shift where financial advisors like man i, I want to be able to serve the smaller guy but i can't because these products are limited you got to be accredited or you have to have x amount of dollars so what have they done they built another practice in conjunction with their main providing consulting strategizing or coaching right so these elements right here can be a great addition if you're old school, right? You're not in the marketplace. You're not creating content. What an opportunity. You might say, you know what? I'm going to, I may drop my licenses so that I can create content faster Then maybe have some type of deal or some type of referral or affiliate agreement with an active wealth manager or licensed individual. And there can be some referral distributions there or some type of, you know, a mutual beneficial relationship where now you're serving clients before they get to the advisor and then you're providing clients a pathway of a trusted credible advisor that you trust because you were an advisor right and you worked with advisors so really really cool unique things there those are the three areas that require licenses and then there's financial content creator right i think the biggest winners today are these people right here the financial content creator because they can incorporate a lot of these different things right into their strategy but a financial content creator today has so many different streams of income right that they can do things that a, a coach that's just coaching may not be able to provide their client right a financial content creator i'll just use me as an example by me becoming a financial content creator I've been able to create multiple streams of income in different areas that have nothing to do with my core audience that I'm serving, core clients. It was just through the power of content creation, collaboration, affiliate referral agreements, partnerships that produce residual stream of income, right? Passive income streams that now feed the passion that I have, which is to serve moms who are unable or are not in a position to afford high level or high ticket financial coaching programs, right? Or one hour sessions. They, they just don't know how to make sense of spending $300, $400 for a coaching session. And instead of me having to try and sell them and all this back and forth and whatnot, and these different sales and marketing tactics that work and don't work, you know, depending on how good you are. I've been able to just make a bunch of money over here right has nothing to do with them and then i've been able to build a ministry right i have a finance geek ministry now so i have a ministry that literally targets that group right serves that group and then my my tagline is no money is required but work is required so if you've got the faith you've got the work ethic you will be served and here's how dun 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 dun, dun. and so now i'm able to provide things for free I'm able to provide education. I'm able to just lower the barrier to entry to get access to financial literacy, financial education, and as far as one-to-one -one financial coaching, my actual time doing it for free, but still remaining profitable over here. So 
That's my personal experience as a financial content creator slash financial coach slash strategist slash consultant slash insurance agent slash sales marketing slash Shopify store slash, I mean, how many slashes you want, right? It's just over and over and over again, all these different income streams feeding the passion. This way I don't go broke following my passion, following my purpose. I don't have to go broke in the process. I don't have to tie money into the reason I do a thing. And that's where the major opportunity is today. So this, this is something to really, really consider going all in on if you're struggling as a financial coach. Hey, you might be a coach 15 years in the business or a strategist or fiduciary. You're making multiple six figures, seven figures. You're good. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the, I'm talking to majority of financial coaches, consultants, strategists that are struggling. You've got a talent. You've got a skill. You're experienced. You've worked in the banking industry. You worked in credit. You worked in the IRS or you've worked around finance. You've been an accountant or you've been a, a CFO at a corporation and you left that to help everyday average Americans improve their finances. And you know, you left, you left a six figure career and you went down in income right? Or you bought a high ticket certification coaching program, 10, 15 grand, whatever it was, you're not making any money. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to the ones that are in and out of these different Facebook groups and you're trying, to, you're trying, you're trying, you're trying, you're trying, you're trying to do all these different tactics. You're learning the sales scripts. You're learning the marketing tactics. You're learning follow-up, right? And call and close and da, da, da. And I'm like, look, if all you did was create content, document your experience, be authentic, have a system, a clean system on the back end of that authenticity and content creation, it's a perfect match. It's a perfect match. And the more eyeballs see your stuff, you, you increase the conversion just by having more people looking at your stuff, all right? So those are the biggest winners today in the financial influencer space, in my opinion, as a content creator. You have the flexibility. You can make money through sponsorships. You can make money many different ways.